friends welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here it is friday at 6 30 in the morning it is dark i have some interesting lights happening here in my car but i'm headed into my ww workshop to stay for the meeting weigh in and then i'm actually going to head to jazzercise it's kind of become my new friday routine where i come weigh in and then i go work out and i'm actually really loving it i'm already out and about anyways so i might as well get my workout in so i'm going to be doing that after my workshop but i want to let you guys know before i go to weigh in how my week was so my week was pretty good i I was extremely hungry this week, which I figured was partially because of working out and partially because guess what? Once again, yesterday, Thursday, the day before weigh-in, time of the month happened. So that explains the extra, extra hunger and the feeling just really kind of run down and tired. I mentioned on my Instagram story that I was just a little bit tired this week and that explains it right there. But of course, of course, once again, the day before I weigh in. So I'm a little frustrated because I was hoping to have a good loss on the scale, but I never lose when it's that time of the month ever. I'm lucky to maintain. So that's my goal now has shifted to maintaining for the week since I'm sure losing is out of the question. I would be literally shocked if I lost weight when I stepped on the scale. But on a positive note, I went to Jazzercise four times this last week. Four. So I got four workouts in, which is amazing. That's my goal again this week, four or five. I was actually going to go on Thursday, Tuesday, but I was so sore from Monday. There was no way that I was going. So if I'm not as sore, I'll be getting five in this next week. So yay. So that was kind of my week in a nutshell. We'll talk about it a little bit more after the workshop, but I'm going to go ahead and head in and weigh in and stay and see what the topic is for the week. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm out of my WW workshop. What a great topic. We talked a lot about our mind and a mindset when it comes to our weight loss. You can fix your body, but you have to have your mind in place as well. And a weight loss journey isn't all about food and diet and exercise. It is also about shifting your mindset and coming to peace with yourself in your current body and the body that is yet to come for you. So I love the idea of talking about mindset. I don't think that we talk about it enough or that we think about it enough in our weight loss journey. So it's nice just to get this refresher from WW. So I wanna share with you the four things that WW suggests that you do to encourage a positive mindset during your weight loss journey. So the number one thing about mindset is develop awareness of your thoughts. You'll then be able to consciously know when your thoughts are affecting your weight loss. So for example, if you are having negative thoughts about your body, about your weight loss, about your progress, or maybe just even about what you ate that day, if you are aware of those negative thoughts, you can shift those into positive thoughts and that way it doesn't impact your journey in a negative way. And I think that I do this a lot. I'll think, oh my gosh, I just blew it. What a waste of a day. I guess I am ruining this whole day and I'm going to gain weight this week. Instead of that, I need to be aware, self-aware enough to say, okay, yeah, you blew it on that meal, but the next meal you're going to start over and you're going to be on track and you're going to do the right thing. So I think that when we become aware of our mindset, we're able to shift those negative thoughts into positive thoughts. And that's going to make a huge difference in our weight loss journey. You can also check out the Headspace app on the WW app the Headspace app on the app. So there is a Headspace version or section on the WW app, and that is a meditation type of a app where you can get yourself in a better Headspace. And sometimes we just need that. Sometimes we are negative Nellies and we just need to get ourselves in a better Headspace about our weight loss, progress, our journey, our food, whatever it may be. So check out the Headspace portion of the WW app and be aware when your mind starts going to a negative place. Number two is it's easy to get stuck on what's gone wrong. It's so much easier for us as human beings to focus on the negative instead of the positive in every aspect of our life, just daily life, not even necessarily our weight loss journey, but just our daily life. So it's time to take the sh focusing on the negative and really focus on the positive. Think about the good things that you've done. What have you done well on your journey? Did you have a horrible day, a horrible week, a horrible weigh in? That's okay. Think back on what you've done well on your journey so far and focus on that and 
commit to yourself that you're going to do the positive things that you've done in your journey moving forward. And don't focus on the negative so much. I do this a lot. I, and I, I know this about myself, is I tend to think about the negative things just in daily life versus the positive things. I have so many things in my life to be grateful for. So many. I mean, I couldn't even list them all. It would be its own separate video. But I always lean towards the negative things. And I think that that's part of being a human being, but we really need to be self-aware enough to be able to shift when we start thinking of negative into start thinking of positive. I think that's huge. I think that's huge in happiness in your daily life, your job, your family, your marriage, and in your weight loss journey. So I think one great tip that WW suggests is write down every day three things that you're grateful for. It literally takes two seconds. You can write them on a sticky note, a piece of paper, in a journal, your planner on your day of the month. Write three things that you're grateful for. And that automatically puts us in a headspace of positivity versus negativity. Number three is remember what's important to you. Remember your why. And we've talked about this several times. What is your why in your weight loss journey? That's what you need to focus on. For me, I like to write my why on my Erin Condren planner at the top of each month because I'm constantly in my planner looking at what I have going on in my life and it's staring me in the face at the very top of my planner is my why on WW. And that helps me remember why I'm doing this journey. Why did I start this in the first place? It could be something as vain as I want to look good in my clothes or it could be health related or kids related. Maybe you want to be able to play outside with your kids. Remember your why and why you started this journey. That that's going to help you not only stay on track, but it's going to help your mind stay in a positive place if you're constantly remembering the why behind your journey. And you can even search hashtag 100 days of why on connect and you can see other people's whys and maybe that will inspire you and motivate you to remember your why. And number four is actually my very favorite one of the four that WW suggests. And that's basically giving yourself some grace. Treat yourself the way that you would treat a friend. If your friend came to you tomorrow and said, I have completely screwed up. I had 7,000 points yesterday. Would you say, oh my God, you're such an idiot. You've ruined your whole journey. You're going to gain weight on the scale. No, you would encourage them. You would say, it's okay. It's a new day, it's a fresh set of points, just start over today. But what do you tell yourself? You're an idiot, you're gonna gain on the scale, why did you do that? So I think this is huge. And this is something, again, that I need to work on. This topic is actually really great for me because I do all of these things to myself. I never give myself grace. I'm the hardest on myself more than I would ever be on anybody else and more than anyone else is on me. I am hard on myself. So remember that, you guys. Treat yourself like you would treat a friend or a family member if they came to you with a struggle on their weight loss or if they came to you and said, I gained three pounds on the scale. You wouldn't put them down. You would say, it's okay. It's a new way in next week. Just get back on track. Do what you have to do to see a loss on the scale next week. And we need to take that same mentality and do that to ourselves. So number four, hands down my very favorite. I'm going to be definitely working on this because I am the queen of negative talk and treating myself like I'm bad when I make a mistake versus how I would treat a friend or a family member if they came to me with a struggle. So really remember number four. I'm sure I'm not the only one that this is a huge thing to remember. So give yourself a little grace and treat yourself like you would a friend. All right, so let's get into my weigh-in. So as I mentioned before, I went into my workshop. I actually had a great week exercise related four days at Jazzercise, and I'm going today to start off another great week of exercise. So really proud of myself as far as activity goes for the week. My food was pretty good. I was a little bit extra hungry, like I mentioned this last week. So there were a couple of days that I had some extra points, but they were also the days that I worked out. So I didn't feel as guilty, I guess, of having those extra points. And as far as my weight loss goes, I felt really good all week until yesterday when the lovely time of the month started. Then all of a sudden I started to question whether I'd see any type of movement on the scale this week. So I've been doing Weight Watchers a while and I know that when it is that time for me, I either gain or I stay exactly the same. I'm never going to lose ever especially when I'm starting right before a weigh-in day. So I knew that I wasn't expecting some grand gesture on the scale this morning when I weighed in. So when I stepped on the scale at my workshop, actually, you guys, I lost 0.4. Shockingly enough, I actually lost weight. And I started yesterday. So that was 
a huge surprise. I did not anticipate or expect that at all, but I'm going to take it. I'm happy that I actually lost 0.4. This was my last weigh-in for the month of January, so I lost a total of 3.2 pounds for the month of January. So that's a little less than I was hoping. My goal is five pounds a month, but it's okay. I know that there were some struggles this week some, or this month, some setbacks this month, and I'm ready to kick February in the you know what. So 3.2 total pounds lost in the month of January and 0.4 lost this week. So I'm happy with that considering everything. Um, but I'm also hoping that next week I see a much larger loss when this whole mess is over and I've continued great eating habits and exercise ha habits. I'm hoping to see a much better loss on the scale next week. So that was my week. I'm again, happy with the overall results considering. So I want to hear how was your guys's week? Was it what you expected when you stepped on the scale? What were some of your challenges and where do you feel out of those four tips that I shared from WW on mindset? Where do you think you fall? What is the one or two that you really feel that you need to work on? So definitely leave those down in the comments below for me. And also let me know your overall weight loss for the month of January. If you're comfortable sharing, only if you're comfortable sharing. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do a weigh-in every single Friday. I have tons of fun WW information on this channel, so I'd love it if you take a moment and subscribe, stick around, join our family, hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Make sure you're checking out the description box below. You're going to find the links to my favorite things as well as some codes and some separate links that will save you some money on your favorite WW products. Or maybe you want to try a new product, it's going to save you a little bit of money so that you don't feel so bad trying out those new things. If you loved this video and you're in for the weigh-ins, give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and I greatly appreciate it. And of course, leave your comments down below. I can't wait to hear about your guys' weeks and let's support each other in our struggles and our mindset and making this the best possible week that we can make it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! What's it like? To be the one that he turns to